Hello and welcome to this video. Aim of the experiment is determination of specific gravity of sand. Let us first discuss what do you mean by specific gravity of sand. Specific gravity of sand which is a fine aggregate is defined as the ratio of the weight of a given volume of sand to the weight of equal volume of water. The specific gravity of an aggregate is considered as the measure of its strength or quality. If its value is above or below the normally assigned value to a particular type of aggregate, then it may indicate an altered shape and grading of the aggregate, which is why it is an important property. Now, the fine aggregate specific gravity test measures its weight under three different sample conditions. The first one is oven dry condition in which there is no water in the sample. The second one is saturated surface dry condition in which case water fills the aggregate pores. And the third one is submerged in water. In today's experiment, we will be considering oven dried sample of sand. The apparatus required for this experiment are a standard pycnometer bottle of 1 litre capacity, a weighing balance, a thermostatically controlled oven, a glass rod, a container to keep our material, distilled water, a desiccator, and our sample of sand. Now, the portion of the sample passing through 4.75 mm IS sieve is our fine aggregate. Let's start our experiment. The sample of sand which has been oven dried at 110 degree centigrade for 24 hours has now been cooled with the help of a desiccator to normal room temperature. This is our prepared sample. Then we take about 500 grams of sand in a container. Now this will be used for calculating its specific gravity with the help of a pycnometer. Now we take our pycnometer which has been thoroughly cleaned and dry. The empty weight of the pycnometer is recorded as M1. The next step is to pour our sample of sand slowly into the pycnometer bottle. We'll cover it up, put its lead Now we'll measure its mass The mass of pycnometer and sand is now recorded as M2 In the next step, we gradually fill the pycnometer with distilled water. As we go on pouring the water, we mix it up with the help of a glass rod. The purpose here is to remove any entrapped air inside it. We keep on going and fill the bottle completely to the brim with distilled water. Now put the lead back on and the brass cup as well. With the help of a wash bottle, we will try to fill the conical portion of the pycnometer. After filling it up, put a 
finger on the top that is at the opening and gently shake it. Now this further helps in removing any entrapped air and mixing the sample and water well together. Excess water is now wiped off with the help of a soft absorbent cotton cloth. Now we will take the mass of pycnometer filled with sand and water and record it as M3. After that, everything is removed from the pycnometer. It is cleaned thoroughly again and now we fill it up with distilled water. Wipe off the excess water. The mass of pycnometer filled completely with water is now recorded as M4. Coming to the observations and calculation part of the experiment. Now we have recorded all the masses obtained in this observation sheet. The formula for specific gravity is given as G equals M2 minus M1 divided by M4 minus M1 minus M3 minus M2. Putting the respective values of M1, M2, M3 and M4 in the formula, we have obtained the value of specific gravity as 2.668. Now keep in mind, this is the result of experiment set 1. We have to repeat this experiment for two more sets, obtain the specific gravity and finally take out the average of all the specific gravities obtained from the three sets. So this is the final result. After conducting this experiment for two more sets, we calculated the specific gravity as 2.67 and 2.672. Taking the average of these three, the final specific gravity of the sand came to be 2.67. Now that we have obtained the specific gravity of sample of sand taken, let us discuss some important points in relation to this. Specific gravity of aggregate is usually considered as an indication of strength. The range of specific gravity of fine aggregate normally used in construction ranges from about 2.5 to 3 with an average value of 2.68. Sand particles composed of quartz have a specific gravity between 2.65 to 2.67 while inorganic clay generally range from 2.7 to 2.8. Sand or soil which contain large amount of organic matter or porous particles have a specific gravity value below 2.6. So this is all about today's experiment. Next time we will conduct this experiment on saturated surface dry sand till then take care and if you have any doubt please leave it in the comments below thank you